All right, the president and the first lady are on their way to Mar-a-Lago right now. Uh, we've uh, got word of a lot of protests being planned. Uh, that, of course, has been pretty much the case since the Trump presidency began. Conservative views, Deneen Varela joins us, and Catalina publisher Kathy Aru on that. Kathy, um, more of this, more protests. Uh, what do you make of that? I think that the Tea Party is now going to be called the Women's March. I think the Democrats have created a new movement. It's the Women's March movement, and those are the protesters that are going to be at Mar-a-Lago. About 2,000 women uh, have signed up on Facebook, and they're going to be there. They're going to let the president know they didn't vote for him. All right. So, Deneen, you just hope that it doesn't turn out to be like the protests we saw at Berkeley and elsewhere, but uh, you never know. What do you think? Yeah, Neil, the, the left has become the party of protests. They don't have a message. They are emotionally driven and they are unhinged. And here is the politics of it. They are so desperate for Donald Trump to not be a success, for his policies to not be a success. Uh, job growth, economic growth, national security to turn our inner cities around. Because when Donald Trump is a success, there will be more than blue-collar workers leaving the Democrat Party. All right. Well, there, obviously, we live in a free country where people are free to protest. You hope it doesn't get violent or nasty. But, uh, Kathy, the, the, what I'm wondering now is whether they're, they're protesting anything new or any actions he has taken or these are pre-protests because they just don't like the guy well no we, we we do have issues and the issue is especially with the women's march right now they're saying it's the muslim ban that happens to be the issue that concerns us the most at the moment and that's probably what well, they're why gonna do be you protesting. call it a muslim ban if it were muslim ban then 46 nations that have majority muslim populations would be on that list seven nations that are muslim um, priority nations are um, on the list and they are banned it is a ban he did say so on his first tweet out it's a ban, but and that's what the protesting. But it's the same list of countries that Barack Obama had, right? He didn't have a list. Right. He never, he never had a ban. He never Part had a ban. In other words, you think that they can freely and quietly and peacefully demonstrate? They did. On the that. day, they will. The, the day after the inauguration was a beautiful example. There were no arrests, and there were thousands, millions of protesters around so the, the world. So the protests that we saw on the day of the inauguration—that you're right, quite right—had nothing to do with no. the Million Women March. No. That is not something you'll expect here, nor do you want to see it here. No, that's, uh, that's not who okay. these protesters are. Denise. Yeah, Neil, uh, again, they are the party of protesters. What is their message? And what happened at UC Berkeley, for example, is absolutely outrageous. They, that campus should have protected free speech. They should have protected that spe uh, the speaker and also right. the attendees who wanted to go to that event. It was really outrageous. Well, you hope that's the exception and not the rule. Ladies, thank you both very, very much. Thanks, Neil. Thanks. All right, uh, you didn't hear from me, but there's...